What is up everyone, my name is Anix and welcome back to another video on my channel. So if you saw my last video, I showed you how to tame the brand new Ceratosaurus in Ark Survival Ascended. So in this video, we're obviously going to show you how to tame the Sifactinus? Cif 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 <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce that. But yeah, this thing, this beautiful fish that you can see on my right here. Look at him. It's so cute. So yeah, today we're going to show you how to tame this thing. So the short version is, this is a normal knockout tame. All you have to do is trank this thing out and feed it some kibble or meat to tame this thing up. But yeah, I will show you what is, in my opinion, the easiest way to tame this thing and uh... Yeah, where to find them, I guess. So if you're wondering where to find these things, from what I've seen so far, they seem to be spawning pretty far out in the ocean, very far down, around where you can also find creatures like donkeys and moses and plessies. They seem to be spawning, yeah, down by the ocean floor, pretty far down in the ocean. So let's build the traps. So what you want to do is you want to build a 2 by 3 area like this with foundations. You want to place a gateway with a gate in it, like so. And then you want some of these stone doorways, like this. Let's make it two walls high, just to be sure that the Sifu can fit. Like this, and like that. And then let's place some ceilings at the top to make sure the Sifu doesn't get out. Let's open the gate. And let's see if we can get the Sifu over here and lead it into the trap. So the Sifa is pretty fast, you want to see if you can get it to aggro to you from a distance, and it looks like it is aggroed! So if you could... kindly follow me into the trap, sir. Or ma'am, I'm not quite sure what you are. Uh oh! So it's definitely a little tricky, but you should be able to get it inside of the trap, and then you just have to close the gate and get out. And you've trapped yourself a Sifa. So this is only level 10. So let's quickly knock this thing out. Uh, and that's basically just the whole taming method. It's kind of a simple knockout tame. Uh, but yeah, I would recommend using a trap kind of like this. Because it's a pretty simple one. And as I said, it can be a little tricky to actually get it inside of the trap. But yeah, when you've gotten it inside of the trap, from there it's... It's pretty easy. If you can see that it's getting bloody, you can also try to feed it some fish like I just did there. And uh, it should heal up. So, uh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> it's knocked out. Very nice, very nice. So yeah, now you can easily tame it up with either kibble or meat or whatever you want to tame it up with. And you will have yourself a Sifa. So when it's tamed, you can equip it with a saddle, and it is a super fast water mount. It can definitely rival the Ichthy. It's probably faster than the Ichthy, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, so let's check out the attacks. We have the left click. That looks like it's mainly just a normal bite attack. Let's test it out on this Manta right here. It's only level 15, this thing, but let's try it nevertheless. Just a normal bite, and then the right click. You can launch and grab the manta and hold it in your mouth. <laughs> that is a pretty crazy attack. That is very crazy. Do we have any other attacks? Doesn't look like it, no, but we can actually hold C to go down, which is something not a lot of water creatures can do, so that is very cool. Anything with X? No, not really. And um, yeah, so that's the Sifa. So yeah, that's basically it. We have the launch attack. If you press right click and you can hold stuff in your mouth, like you can grab stuff with a launch. Uh, and then we have a normal bite attack. So uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend taming this thing because it's a super fast water creature. And I would assume if you have a pretty high level, it can be pretty dang strong as well. But yeah, if you found the video helpful or you enjoyed it, then I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel and like the video. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one and have a great day.